for this. Are you talking about this location, Aaron? I go straight out on this location, or at least I'm trying to. It depends on the spot, obviously, but. Um, I haven't done a lot of, uh, in this spot at least, I haven't done a lot of like examining the ground. Now, if you look, it does curve in. If you wanted to cast like here, even with the middle of these weeds, it does sort of curve in towards us. It actually would be more like this, wouldn't it? And that would sort of guarantee you're getting, yeah, like a, a cast just east of south would sort of make sense to me with how short of a cliff we're doing. But I haven't tested any of that. I've just been casting straight out. Yo, what's up, Ellie? Yubica, how's it going? All right, so we'll give this spot a little while. Again, unless I see or hear something that sounds better, I'm, uh, I'm good with going to Norway for a little while if we get tired of fishing at Copper. Which was kind of the plan yesterday, but then Copper ended up being so good yesterday, it was just, it became hard to leave. Okay, so somebody's catching a combination of buffalo and black buffalo at Tuba. I'm not sure this is a little, little different spot um, in the pond, but I'm not sure that it looks like it's quite the fire that the last buffalo spot was, at least just from glancing at this. Oh. Black, the black carpet bear, that's always interesting. I think I actually need the black carpet old bird, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing well, Yubica. I had a restless night sleeping, but I'm okay. I'm, I'm feeling awake now. 6153, interesting. Still using the same baits, Aaron? 12 hours ago, the spot had a lot of common and mirror carp. Yeah, I noticed that last night. I fished here a little bit off stream and I noticed it was turning into mostly common and mirror. Strawberry, okay. What's up, big dog? Yeah, it feels like we're probably like on the front end of a bait change and uh, maybe some spot rotations as well. Here's somebody else in the pond catching a black buffalo. All right, yeah, nothing just stands out. Everything looks kind of random, at least on this. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, that's a nice F1. Maybe we should try. Maybe we should try. Um, yeah, a different bait. Here, let's go to let's go to um, stat. Let's just see if in the last 24 hours. Anything has given us a clue on. Um, I think we could just look at F1 in particular. Nah, there's there's nothing that's there's not it's all cream or natural baits. It's interesting that leech is so far up the top. I mean, leech is still like killing it. All right, so Norway, let's see. All right, angler. In that 120 spot to the right of 41. 
Yeah, but, but you don't show the net, so I'm I'm, not, I'm just like I don't I'm not super interested if you don't show the net because one random fish doesn't signify how good a spot is. Okay, so these lings are still coming out. At least this person went really deep for them, though. All right, so far we're still catching like tench and F1. In the, at least to start off with, this spot is looking a little bit like it did yesterday, which would be great news. Um, yeah, that's a heck of a net. Now, this person was sitting there fishing for 12 hours, and they caught a series of lings and then finally got the trophy. Uh, but that is a deep pit. That's a long time to fish, and they're at the 215. That's a lot of waiting. Some interesting fish, though. All right, now this is interesting. Down at 80, a decent poor beagle, uh, a lump fish, and a real nice wreck fish. But you've got to deal with a lot of cusk, and let's look what the bite rate is like. An hour of fishing, 5, 10, 15, about 16 fish. And that's using a um, giant chad. So that's going to be slower. But I like the fact that they caught a wreck fish on it. Might be worth doing that. All right. 34, 2 hours, 1,800 silver. This is what I'm talking about. Look at all those dabs. Now, there are a lot of cods. Y'all seeing that at 34? A lot of cods. Now, this is straight... A straight jigging rig. Which probably what I would do is I would set up the jigging rig for night. And then do something kind of similar but a little different in the day. Wait, this person caught a trophy turbot on lugworm from the shore? An hour fishing, 18 fish. Look at that. Um, look at the amount of haddock that you're catching on that. That is so weird. That's almost like tempting just to test. Ooh, a nice even two kilo exactly F1. All right, so I'm liking the F1. I'm liking the F1 part of this. Tutti fruity for koi's cubat in this spot, you mean? What's up, one shot? Does using a mesh sinker with ground bait have the same effect as throwing one since it I'm not exactly sure how to answer that one shot. It seems like from what we've been told and even what we observe, it does seem like you're feeding the water with the ground bait by having it in your feeder in your cage. <clears throat> it also seems like you're feeding the water with the ground bait by throwing it in. Are you doing more feeding with putting it in the cages because you've got one in each cage and you're constantly putting them out there using them? I mean, it seems like you would be, but I don't think you're in danger of overfeeding in the same way that you would be if you like just sat there and threw 40 pieces of ground bait in. So it seems like there's a difference, but I don't know exactly. I don't know, big dog. I haven't used that one. One of these days I'm going to get brave enough, <clears throat> brave enough to buy that reel because I like the idea of there being a end game reel that's half the price of the big boys. And I just want to see how good it is. I think it's probably fine, but I don't know. I haven't used it. Yo, what's up Adidas? Yeah, I am running out of cream corn. Thank you, Oki. I meant to go get that a minute ago and now I've gotten distracted from, from Norway. Norway, Norway is, as I'm thinking about this, processing this, whether it's 55, 80, and then also trying this farm at 34, it's getting more and more tempting to me. I'm, I'm, I'm warming up to the idea. 
Okay, thank you, Cubat. So it did work for you. You started to see some started to see some koi coming in. We should be able to get a four kilo mirror carp done. Don't y'all think it'd be interesting if we uh if they changed the sales in the thing like either weekly or or maybe at least every other week or something which i mean there happens to be some really good sales right now but i still think some variety and i still wish that they had some silver sales not just gold sales didn't they used to do that or is that all was that always just something i wished they would do all right you we said we're doing 2d right I'm trying to figure out if there is a way in which I could maybe start just putting one. Like, yeah, just put one 2D in there for to start off with and then see how that goes. I'm not quite ready to give up the tension F1s completely or the bite rate we're getting. Whoa. De Devian, that is like some first world problems you got going on. Let me see if I can read this and understand it, what you're asking. Holy cow, it's, I, did, I didn't mean to lock it, guys. Okay, so here's the deal. That is so frustrating. I'm about to throw this mouse away. I've never had such a sensitive uh, wheel. It's like I can't even budge it without it moving. And if I hit it decent, like it goes up so far. Is it worth to buy rocket jet for third Ultima? I don't know, Debian. I only have one rocket jet. I, I can't really imagine having three rocket jets, but I, I mean, I don't know. That's just me. Yeah, one shot. Typically, it's like between 5 and 10. All right, what did I just lose here? Other than my mind. Yeah, I need to get a different mouse. I could just use this mouse on my other computer or something. Get back up. I don't know. Been using 70 on these. Goes up to 135. Is that what I have on all three of them? No, that one's got 90. I think 90 makes more sense. I'll try to remember to switch that. I need to just make more. Um, you know, at the end of the day, not that big a deal. I'm sitting here thinking about how much all this costs, but it's not like that much compared to what we're making. I think I can just relax a bit. I more just get frustrated that it happens. Like why I keep my friction brake so low sometimes, because if I just touch this wheel, it is going for a ride. That is scary one shot. Uh, it's going well. How are you doing, Adam? Adam, what, um... I got a bad feeling about this. <sighs> what, uh... You had a good copper trip, right? You had a good Norway trip followed by a good copper trip? I've been watching you in chat. That's what it seemed like, at least. Yo, Wrangler. Thanks for subbing, buddy. How are you doing? I like this thing. Fifteen months? Hope you're doing well, Wrangler. Oh, really, big dog? Change scroller pace in your computer setting. It's under motion. Okay, hold on.
Um, choose how many lines to scroll each time. Is that what it means? Cursor speed, I know what that is. You made 1600 from one trip, that's awesome. Oh, nice Wrangler. Mouse and cursor size, additional mouse options, buttons, pointers, wheel. Roll the wheel one notch to scroll one line. Tilt the wheel. I'm not doing any tilting. We're not tilting around here. I'm already tilted enough. See what I did there, chat? That was a good one, wasn't it? That was a good one. What's up, Amar? All right. You get one of those from me a day. I have fulfilled my my um, my one cheesy moment. What books? What books, Wrangler? I'm so curious. I love reading. I'm actually reading a book for a book club right now. Um, it's actually for family though. So the spouses of all of my wife's siblings we all read a book and then sit to sit together and talk about it while we're on vacation but so the cool thing is i always end up reading at least once a year i end up reading books that i would have never read if not for this group because they just have very different taste in books than me but mechanically mechanical clicky wheels are better than smooth wheels okay nice <laughs> one, Amar says one. <laughs> yeah, if we tilt it even more, it might become rage quit. That's right. Uh, fingerprints of the God and magicians of the gods. Oh, of the gods. It's about the evidence of the Earth's lost civilizations. Oh, cool. I'm so curious what got you interested in that, but that's cool, Wrangler. I'm going back through and reading all my childhood favorites. That's so fun, Aaron. I love reading books, rereading books that I that I have good memories of. Yes, yes, that's right. Not the best night's sleep. Easily tilting M Dog. Oh shoot, did I did I put cream right back on there? So silly. Uh I mean it's one in the morning. Yeah, let's just change it. We're probably going to Norway at some point, right? I wanted to try 2D at least on one. So here's the deal. I don't think I can. I don't think I can expect tutti fruity PVA to mix with the cream. I mean, I think it's fine. So, do we keep the cream PVA on there, or do we just let this one not have? I don't know that it matters. Honestly, we're still so early in our fishing here that it'd probably be nice to keep it on, just because we need to feed the water a little bit if this spot's going to do anything. How is copper so far? Not sure. No clue. M Dog's been sitting there and still pulling some out. Somebody said he caught a record amount of fish weight in fish today, so I'm not sure. That was actually yesterday, 24 hours ago, not today. Is it okay to have the flashlight on? I think so. I don't think it affects the fish at all. Just one of the things you've always been interested in. That's cool, Wrangler. Um, do I read for work? I read a little bit for work. Mostly I read for fun. The other dip? Wait, which dip did I put on there? Oh, okay, the other one. All right, we'll give it a couple minutes and then I'll switch it. Has that been a problem in the past, Amar? How did you get it get it better, the FPS? Walking in the water. 
Interesting. Is that right? We should, um, how would you test that? Maybe get two accounts side by side, fish a really good spot in Mosquito and on both accounts, but on one of the account, just sit there splashing in the water at your feet the whole time and see if it affects the quality or bite rate of fish and stuff. Um, Qualis Jr., thanks for the follow. Do I fish in real life? Uh, very, a little bit. I fished while I was on vacation. Uh, will we fish on vacation next week? Probably not, because we'll be out at the, at the ocean. We've done like ocean trip, like deep water fishing one time, but usually we don't fish on the when we're at the beach. Um, when I'm on my job, do I read? Okay, so you're asking, do I read when I'm on my job? No. I'll make them an offer again with you. No, I don't read when I'm on my job because I'm meeting with people. Bear's not hitting right now. When I leave, can I show the cafe for Norway? If I remember, yeah. I'm probably going to go to Norway, so I'll remember then, if not before. If only Arma would optimize. Lots of tweaking, to be honest. It has improved over the years, but it's always been bad. Oh, interesting. When you have free time? Yeah. I feel like I don't have enough free time to, I guess I've read before at work, but it's not very, I don't have one of those jobs where like, I, I kind of know what you mean. Some jobs definitely allow you to do that. I don't, I don't really get to. Hello. How you doing? Uh, Qualis, 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 Qualis Jr. Greetings. Welcome. Oh, totally. I agree with that, Aaron. The only thing is, we've looked this up before. You know, we're going out of state. So I think we would also have to get some sort of like temporary fishing license. Because we thought about just fishing with shrimp from the shore. Uh, I mean, there's lots of fun things you could do, obviously, but. <clears throat> What's up, McGee? Hey, Blunty. Oh, that's cool, Aaron. It's been hot here too. <laughs> uh, maybe I should look into that. So we're going to a completely different, this year we're going to, um, I think it's South Carolina, but let me make sure. Yeah, we're going to South Carolina. We've been in Florida in the past years when we do our beach trip. This year we're going to South Carolina, so. I don't know, there, you know, we, we haven't ever been to this spot before, so we'll see. Watch that tilt. Not Jekyll Island. Um, I've been to Jekyll Island, though. In fact, when I was a child, for some reason, my grandparents, every summer, that was their spot. They went to Jekyll Island. They lived in Atlanta, so they went to Jekyll Island. And uh, so not every year, but most years, my parents and I would go with them when I was a kid. So I haven't been in a long, long time. But as a kid, I went to Jekyll Island almost yearly. Yesterday was 86 degrees Fahrenheit here at 11. That's a decent leather. So we're still getting these nice leather carp here.
interesting lane. All right, there's our mirror carp cafe order. And we can go check Norway's cafe real quick. Man, remember how good yesterday's Norway cafe was? Of course, I never fished there yesterday, but it, it looked between the sorry and the um, mackerel cafe orders, it was pretty sweet. The mirror cart already rolled off. I guess I should have checked the time. All right, there's your um, Norway. Oh, look at the Saith order and the Pollock order. And people are catching those dabs at 34. And the mackerels, although that's a trophy mackerel, right? But still, that's a pretty good cafe order. And if you're shore fishing, people have been catching haddock from shore. Oh yeah, angler, uh, angler, wrangler. I have, um, was there another reason why I came back? Oh no, it's just for the mirror. I have uh, royal pickers and feeders. My pickers are actually being repaired at Volkov. I was tired of shredding all of my line because of the line guide damage. I did get more corn um, last time I went up there. Would it be wasting money if I bought Rod Pod at level 21? I mean, I, I think it really comes down to personal preference on what's fun for you. If that's going to make fishing more fun and you're more likely to fish more and make more money, more, more silver, then arguably you're, it's a good investment. Um, but if that's not the case, then obviously you don't need it. It doesn't help you. It's pretty slow. Yeah. I mean, I was looking at these reports about it. It does look fairly slow, but it looks like people are catching like a trophy turbot on, um, lugworms or whatever. You love bottom fishing. All you aim to fish for in our forest carp. I will say, um, there are certain situations where the rod pod does help. Now the expensive one helps because you see back bites better, but even the cheap one, like I was fishing a spot yesterday on my alt account that somebody said was a good bream spot. It ended up not being that very good for me, but um, 
they were able to put all three of their rods on the rod pod on the end of one of those really small little pier things at Old Berg where I didn't have space to put all three of my rods down since on my alt account I don't have a rod pod. So it, it does help organize your rods a little better in some situations. But, you know, there's always a workaround. Like all I did was sort of step, step back a few feet and then adjust the clip on that one rod. And I still made it work, but... By the way, I did watch the tier list video and the fact that Donitz wasn't instantly F tier made me sad. <laughs> oh, Wrangler. Yeah, that's a good that's a good point, Aaron. I don't I don't think about doing that. That's great though. Yo, it's going well. How are you doing, Ted? You hate that place, Wrangler? Yo, nice gibble, Adam. I was wondering what that less go was. All right, so what level are we now, Adam? Oh, you're level 20. I remember when you were 17, like a minute and a half ago. Um... I remember when you caught this trophy F1. How many trips have you done now to Norway and to Copper? Oh crap. Oh yeah, yeah. No, one shot. I wasn't. I wasn't talking about this spot. There's a really small little pier thing at Old Berg that's probably about half this size. And you have just enough space to put the rod pod down, but you don't have enough space to put all three rods down. Again, that's very rare and there's always workarounds. Yeah, I really wasn't there for that, Wrangler. I was still leveling up. I didn't get the good times at Sura. I mean, I remember when I first got to Sura, I think y'all had already been there for a while. Grats on Trophy Tinch, Bob. Um, I remember doing some... Some bottom fishing, some trolling, some spin... I mean, it's not that I didn't do fish there at all, but I just think I missed out on the most on most of it. Okay, you've made two copper trips and two Norway trips. Gotcha. Man, it'll be interesting to see how long like how long you play this game. You've just had such a different start, a very fast start. Things are about to really slow down for you. So it's like, will you be okay with that? Or will are you a little spoiled on how smooth and fast a start you've had? You've just had some exciting fishing at a low level. Yeah, I agree with that, Aaron. I agree with that. This is your second copper trip? Okay, nice. You're fine with slow fishing? Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a good point, Aaron. <clears throat> it's not that way if you're willing to take early trips to Norway and Copper. Or it's, or it's different. I, I would say it's different anyway. I mean... Once you know what you're doing, it's hard to just make 100 silver a game. Like, once you know where to look for resources, you know, if you find out about bream, you find out about float fishing at winding for small fish. It used to be the case. These days, it's hard to just make 100 silver an hour. 
Blunty's here, yeah? Or he was. What was the gold bait change, Wrangler? I'm trying to remember that. Hitting level 40? <laughs> yeah, that is a... Yeah, that took me about a year and a half, I think. <laughs> Your first 200 hours were slow? Yeah. No, totally, Aaron. If you're not, or if you don't seek out the community, you don't find, you know, videos or whatever. But, I mean, in some ways, that might be a good way to, like, if it, not, I wouldn't want someone to have to live there for a long time, but it probably gives you some good basics having to go through that of like trying to figure a few things out yourself and experiencing failure but still enjoying the game and just enjoying the fishing part of the game and then maybe you slowly start getting plugged into community and and things start to take off a little bit but there could be some value in that i just think if it lasts too long I mean, that would probably drive me away. Certainly, getting plugged into the community was really important for me early on in this game. All right, most recent thing, 41. Wow. A 21 kilo poor beagle at 41. And that happened just a little while ago. That makes me... I still think I want to try 34. 34's got some real variety going on right now looks like but there are a good bit of cod so we can't go in there with like too small a setup thinks linear gotta love it all right so we have zero fish on the um on the 2d so far okay so we're gonna now change the dip and we're going to take off the PVA just in case just in case that's messing with something I would just love to see a koi one koi one koi before we before we leave oh let's see um That's crazy, Lane. 400 an hour, 45. How many hours do you have in RF4? Well, just on this account, which is probably about 75% of my total hours, I've got 4,974. But I also have so many, like countless alt accounts. And back in the day, I had a couple of main alt accounts <laughs> where... Um, I made it up to like at least in the 30s because I was carp fishing on that account with my son When rhino larva would only hit sterlets and sturgeons. Oh, interesting. Goodness. 
So you didn't have to worry about you didn't have to worry about catfish and stuff like that at all. You know, I remember first getting to first getting to Sura and you know, y'all sort of coaching me up trying to trying to go for sturgeon a little bit. And I threw in my chafer. So excited. Um, waited about 15 minutes. And um, finally got a fish on my chafer. Reeled it in, seemed a little, seemed a little slow, but just kept reeling it in. Dang it. And it was a, uh, a blue trophy common roach. That story used to be better because I had the visual to end with, but since I've caught a bigger roach, so it replaced it. Nice F1. Oh, Tet wants to know if he's level 41, how can he power level FP? Yo, what's up, Darren? Sturgeon from 38 to 50 from shore. Nice. Just use the highest. What's up, Addy? You remember Bellows on second account? I was mad, but kind of happy. Yeah. Temp just turned to increased. Wait, here? Oh, interesting. Look at this. Increased, normal, normal, increased, increased. I like the back and forth. That's kind of interesting. Do we want to do a copper comp, Oki says? Why don't we do 30 minutes... Because that'll force me to fish here a little longer. We'll see a few more fish. 30 minute comp and then I'm going to Norway, I think. And then I might come back to copper. We'll see. But um, All right. So let's go. Golly, I really don't want to do biggest dinks. Thanks, Wrangler. I don't know, Oki. Maybe we shouldn't do a comp. Temperature just changed. Now, we could do... Yeah, let's do a Norway comp for sure. We could do smallest F1. Is that a thing? Minimum weight, F1, 30 minute. You gotta pay a lot of money to get in though, okay? One silver. All right, smallest F1 wins. All right, can y'all handle it? And then we'll do Norway next though. And then maybe we'll come back to copper, we'll see. All right, sounds good. I'm going to change my, uh, I'm keeping 2D in, by the way, because I still want to see that koi. But I'm going to change my other setups just a little bit.
Yo, what's up, Jorwal? Sounds good, Robbie. Actually, I might not keep 2D on. There's just too many things I want to try here during this comp. <laughs> I'm kind of getting excited with all the possibilities of things I'm going to try. Biggest dink sounds like a bunch of middle schoolers with a ruler in the locker room. How's it going, Markson? All right, so who are we waiting on? Are we waiting on anybody? Physician says, I'm still doing the challenges. Yo, physician, that sounds brutal. That is brutal. All right, waiting on you, Pink. Let me know when you're in. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this one to size four. We, we want to catch, you know, all fish. Give us a possibility of a small F1 in there. All right, you're in. Uh, okay, good luck. Have fun. Is everybody in? I'm assuming everyone's in. Uh oh. So sorry. Stream delay. I should have waited longer. If nop means nope. Sorry about that. Um, welcome back, Drawer Wall. That's awesome. All right. So we're going to change. We're definitely changing this one. All right. This one's going to actually. Uh, I could live to regret this, but. Hopefully I won't. This one is going to, again, size. We're not going to do carp. Uh, we should do carp. No, we shouldn't. We're going to do size four. And you guessed it. We're going leech. Now, can I still go this? Yes. Okay. All right. Now, but... The, uh, oh, look at this baby F1. All right. Okay. Uh, the, the one I'm most excited to try is this middle setup. Do I wait till we catch a fish on it first though? I think so. Let's, let's let it, let's let it sit there. All right. We're in first place with a 1.4. You're level 24. Um, okay, so yeah, if you have any gold on your account one shot, I do think trips to Norway or copper could be fun for you because that comes with, you know, temporary equipment. Yo, Bellic just got a, it hasn't registered yet, but a point, no, a, th a 370 gram F1. That's going to be tough to beat. I don't even see you on the list. Oh, there you are. Okay. Oh, Cubat got a 215 gram. What What are we doing here, Cubat? How did you just one shot a 215 gram F1? What did you put in there? There is no telling. Throw some dough. Yeah, that's probably right.
So your options are Your options are to pay for the trips with gold or silver. If you pay for it with silver, it just cuts into how much profit you'll make on the trip. And it's so cheap on gold. If you ever wanted to just add, you know, um, you just wanted to add a couple of dollars on your account, it, you know, that would be the time to do it. But regardless, do a little bit of research before you do those trips, especially Norway. You want to know what you're getting into on Norway for sure. Copper as long. I mean, it depends on what your bottom fishing is. I don't know. Copper can be hit or miss. I, I would say copper. This might not be the best time to do a copper trip because we're about to have this like up and down temperatures. So it could be a little rough to figure out what's working. But um, and then obviously bream. I don't know the spots right now, though. One shot. I haven't done a lot of low level fishing. I've been a little slack on my leveling account um, fishing, but I'm not sure about that. Maybe somebody else knows. Cubat's on fire. Wait, what do you mean? Yo. Hoff. A blue trophy gudgeon? Never even heard of that. Niu with a trophy F1 as well, by the way. Paul Paul got a 333. Cubat went down to 215. My goodness. Bye, Adam. Oh, you're at 87.4. So when you do go to copper, <clears throat> the good news is you will be able to use pop up because right now the thing that seems to be working the best is just like, you know, double single corn, two corn, single setup. Yeah, I agree with that lane, especially if it's your first time going to Norway. That could feel like a frustrating experience. Yeah, sounds like upgrading your gear one shot and um, once you get PVA, that starts to, you know, uh, increase, the, increase your options. <clears throat> but if you, if you continue to play RF4 a good bit for a while, <clears throat> it is worth, you know, timing it if either copper or um, Norway is like really going off, then, <clears throat> excuse me, it's uh, it could be worth doing a trip for sure. <coughs> My goodness. Okay. <clears throat> I've been wanting to test this anyway. Whew. In trying to catch small F1s, it seems like all I've done is com completely killed my bite rate. Hundred twenty-three gram oysters, eighty-seven silver. Yeah. No, the, at, at Norway, those are awesome.
First fish on leech. Yeah, every time you level up, you get more skill points. What's up, Tori Wayne? Oh, this is not a tiny F1. Okay, feeling how that felt, I'm realizing I could get myself into some real trouble with this little setup. Why is it on inline? I don't, I don't, I don't think this is the the smart play here. Um, maybe this, maybe this is a smarter play. Let's go loop rig, of course. We can get somewhere around twelve. Uh, the joys of copper. Okay, so why can't I use this? It's not a carp rod. Oh, it's got an 8,000 reel on it. Hey. Okay. That one's not going to work either. Okay, why are we making this more difficult than it has to be? How, how badly do I really want to see what leech catches? I don't think I care that much. Let's go back to 2D. We'll just go back to 2D. Three hundred and thirty four. You bet two fifteen. Wow. You just pulled out a three kilo bream. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Ted. Uh, Calypso, son, welcome back. Yeah, what was my comment? Um, yes, no, that was a joke. So somebody told, is it Blunty maybe was saying that the dev at one, one of the devs at one point said that 
the 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 lure the handmade lures you make that get all like screwed up scratchy looking dilapidated when you craft them that the the system actually counts it as a separate lure that those are like two different lures almost like the 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 regular one versus the one that's all like junked up now okay so even in the inventory wait how do you know that how do you know that because of the order in which it's listed or what the foam is just easiest to tell the difference right so this is a nine out of ten nine out of ten so they're 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 kept together is that what we're saying Okay, it's a different. What's up, raced? Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I, I, I would have assumed like, oh, it won't make a difference. It's nine out of ten either way. So that's like what my assumption would have been. But it sounds like that may not be the case. But I have no idea if it on average is going to do better or worse or whatever. You would think the one that looks better, <laughs> like it's intended to look, and has the highest quality would be the most effective, but... I have no idea, though. I, As much as I love trolling spin fishing even fishing at norway i just don't feel like i've put the hours in or done like specific enough testing to really notice differences like that yeah that's true cole yeah no y'all make good points I, it's just like if the if the, if it's really been programmed that way that's kind of impressive One of my favorite parts of, of fishing at Norway is like looking around, seeing what other people is, are saying is working. Or you could look at the weekly list for that matter, but I kind of look, I kind of like the like pictorial representation on Discord or VK and seeing like, okay, this seems to be working, but this seems to be working. And then creating a couple of rigs to say like, okay, this is what I want to try. I want to go to 34. And during the day, I want to try this setup based on what I've seen. And then during the night, I want to try this setup. And then because you're rarely punished for that, like it almost always goes well. Maybe it won't come till after the beach trip, period. They may have been overwhelmed with orders, period. But I'm not sure what she has heard, period. Yo, Carlos, nice. Did you get a trophy F1? Congrats. Look at all these small F1s. I'm surprised in some... Yeah, Carlos Silva just got a trophy F1. I'm, in some ways, I'm surprised... Like, I figured, you know, we would try to target small F1s, and it might not work that well. 
like that we would end up getting bigger F1s than we wanted to when we were trying to go for smaller ones. But it looks like whatever everybody's doing, it's actually working pretty well. That's awesome, Pink. Congrats. Oh. A fact tab? Oh, that's awesome. Baits of different appearances are different for the generation system. Um, I, I think that spots like the 34 bank and the, that was first fish on 2D of the day, by the way, and it was a nice little tinch, uh, spots like 34 and 41 bank at Norway. <clears throat> now I wouldn't be surprised if they are affected by how much you fish it but I think they're pretty resistant to being fished down to nothing. Yo, Devian with a 166. Oh man, you thought you had a minnow on there, huh? What in the world? Uh... Yo, nice big dog. All right, let me, I want to check out the facts tab. Let's see. General fact? Does the look of a handmade lure matter or only the quality rating? The looks have no effect on the effectiveness, only the numbers matter. The looks are independent and random. It will perform as a nine out of 10. As for the 10 out of 10, they should not look bad. If you have an example of a 10 out of 10 that was crafted with bad look, please provide it. When creating self-made baits of the same quality up to nine out of 10, we can get different variants of their appearances. Does the catch generation system consider such baits to be the same or different? Baits of different appearances are different for the generation system. What the heck is the generation system? It sounds like the other answers are all saying that the looks don't matter. I'm 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 actually confused now. You've The fish spawn dice rolls. Huh. You've seen several 10 out of 10 lures that look bad or different. The other thing, like, <clears throat> I would suspect that with a game this complicated, this happens quite a bit. If you go back in time and look at like quotes over different time periods, like there might have been a time period when the system either did work a certain way or they thought it worked a certain way. And then you move forward in time and the system has been tweaked a little bit and maybe works slightly different now. I mean, I'm, I'm sure even on the back end, there are constant changes being made. Especially when you get to like this minutia, like the small little details of things.
I can, I mean, bear with me for a second. I can just imagine at some point when you're developing this game and you are getting to the point where you're like, okay, we're going to let them craft their own lures. That you make a decision like, okay, well, when someone crafts a lure, wouldn't it be cool if there's like this small percent chance that it could have this like different appearance? It didn't come out exactly like you intended it to. It looks slightly worn down or it looks slightly off, right? I could see how like that decision would be, would, you would think like, well, that adds variety. It adds like, oh, your results are not always the same. Those are the kind of things that are usually good for a game like this. Keeps it a little bit fresh. Every, around every corner in the game, there's like this variance, right? So it would make sense to me of like, you would want that to be a part of crafting lures, this chance of variability. But then the next question is, okay, so yes, that seems like a cool feature to have, that there's some variance in as you're crafting lures, what, how they turn out, not only in their quality, but in their visual appearance. But the next question is, what do you do with those changes in visual appearance? And my assumption would have been that, that, wouldn't, that the, it wouldn't actually matter, that it's just for the sake of the visual appearance. But that doesn't mean that that's actually the, what they went with. That's just my assumption. They may have decided, either in the beginning or at some other point, no, let's actually have the game, the code, treat this different. It's not just a visual appearance different. Let's actually have somehow the numbers are interacting with the, the water and the spawning of the fish in a different way. And of course I have no idea. And it sounds like over the years we've gotten some different answers that maybe make it not completely clear as mud, but, or maybe it is clear as mud, but you can kind of see how decisions like that, <clears throat> they're not necessarily made. And originally it might not, they might not have even been thinking about like, oh, how will these lures perform? The motivation might've been when you have a big, like an RPG, um, you know, and crafting is a part of it. You want there to be some variance just to keep people engaged and interested. And you're always like, oh, what's going to happen? What's this one going to look like or whatever? I mean, I can see where that would be the motivation more than anything else, at least init initially. Yeah, I agree about the mystery. Really, Cole? I have never, never heard about that or seen that. Yo, what's up, Ravon? Raven? Ravon, Raven, 292. You're welcome to lurk anytime. Following since August 2020. So Ravine started RF4. Are you still playing RF4? You started as a, you were playing Fishing Planet. You came over to try it. And then it seems like you might've gone back to Fishing Planet. I don't know, just interesting to look back in the history. <clears throat> You're going to go fish for carp in real life? Nice.
Have a good one, Adam. Best of luck to you. That's weird, Cole. Yeah, I've not ever, not ever heard about something like that or seen it myself. Twenty nine grams, but it was a rough. One sixty six is the lowest we could find, huh? In the in real life, in real life fishing on Twitch, the streamers are having an open five by five. Oh, weird. All right, I got to go get something to eat really quick. Grats to Debian, who takes home the 11.9 silver and the smallest F1. That was actually a fun little comp. Got to remember that. Put that away in the uh, archives. All right, so I'm going to go grab a sandwich or something just to, like, prop me up a little way. Yes, I am headed to Norway. After I um after I make my sandwich and kind of get settled, we're gonna plan out some rig some rigs and go do some testing, probably on 34 and then maybe on either 55 or 80. I kind of wanted to try 80. There's a giant shad report that I might want to look at. We'll see though. So anyway, I'll be right back.
We'll see here. <clears throat> Yeah, honestly, I need a complete re overhaul of channel points. We need to spend like an hour or two of one of my streams fishing for something pretty slow. Like, um, I don't know. Something. So I can just go through and recreate channel points and that kind of stuff. Bellows, yeah. Yes, that's right, Blunty. We gotta come up with good ones. All right. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely want to keep hydrate and stretch. I mean, keep, I mean, I don't mind keeping those, I guess, but I've seen a lot of hydrating and stretching over the last like year and a half. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. Let's go trip. Let's go to let's go to Norway. Go do some sea, some saltwater, saltwater life. Why am I getting no volume? Oh, ah, I get it. I got it now. Okay. Man, even when even when copper's bad, it's good. Uh, I guess it was an hour and a half, but let's be fair. We had some pretty weird baits and, and strategies going on. Your perch is water body record. Yeah, I mean... If you want to get water body records, just do spin fishing at at, uh, at copper. It's a good point. That's a good call, Blunty. That's a good idea. Should write this idea down. Pilsner, Trophy Vendus. Okay. We might as well go ahead and travel because everything's cheaper there anyway oh you caught it on ultralight telestick i'm just saying nobody hardly anyone spin fishes or goes for predator fish at copper so okay so we're gonna want to use mega perk cincy and probably ultra but that means we need to go take everything off of the Poseidon. I think we can just disassemble this one. And we need to put this one back on Ultra. Okay. So. Now we need to get our setups set up for what we're doing. Sensi will be our nighttime jigging. Mega perk will be daytime perking, and this will be what we try at probably uh, 80 first, and then maybe 55 that we'll be changing it. Um, 
I think it was the, let's see, what was somebody doing it? Oh, crap. Where was it? Um, where did I see this? It actually might have been on VK this time. Yes, it was. Okay. They were using the M25614. Okay, and that's at 80, if we want to try that. Now, it's a lot of cusk, at least it was yesterday. But there was also some interesting fish coming out. So, we could try that. And then, I don't know what we want to do at 55. If we want to go big fish at 55, what we'll do. But, um, all right, 34 on the jigging setup. We've got, we want to change this to not fillet jigging, but marine, marine lure jigging. Foam rubber fish. So interesting when people do this. I could try the deformed one. question is what do we want to what do we want to do on the uh filker setup the daytime setup that's pretty good Debian what do you mind saying what you were fishing with Feels like everybody's been using jigging rigs recently. Dead mackerel trolling. Look at you. Oh, it's such a slow bite rate though, right? I just don't know if I can do that on stream. It's so repetitive and so slow. All right, nothing new on that. What about on, uh, what about on Discord? Is anybody doing any Norway? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This person caught... Okay, they don't show the top of their thing, but they did catch a trophy Pollock on, um, so they went four aught, and they went with the tiny 007. I don't mind doubling up on that. Just we can see how it how it how it goes. Then they also did the um, 001. Something like that. Now I don't know what we want on top. <clears throat> Again, a lot of people are just straight jigging these days. 
Um, a white provoker. A white provoker number eight. What's up, Tao? Four anglers and 20 wolfish. Wow. That's pretty cool. Um, white provoker with the foams. Copper's weird because copper's going through some weather, ups and downs with weather. It's not terrible, but it's definitely a little weird. I think we can just start with that and then go. We might as well get get riding out to the fishing while we're thinking about it because we're close now. All right, here's cafe order. Still looks very good. We're getting short on time though. <clears throat> the safe and the dab will be gone soon. So... Do you feel like that's gone pretty well raced, the Provoker? Let's just go all the way to 80, then we'll check out 34 maybe, and then we can, or 55, we'll see. Two foam, two perverker. Okay, okay, so you've been doing jigging too. It's not that interesting that like a lot of people have been doing a lot of jigging lately. Ooh, that's close on the tench. Provoker eight and one. Fifty five.
Oh, I don't know, Cole. <clears throat> I don't think I ever used that. All right, we're starting off with what will be the slowest bite rate, but <clears throat> could be some good fish. We'll see. The nice thing is these lures take no time at all to get to the bottom. It's not like that, uh, all that, um, squid and stuff that takes forever. This thing sinks like an anchor. All right. Bream still on Old Berg. Oh, nice. Which spot are you on, Adidas? Oh, 49.29. Wow. Okay, cool. I'm glad to hear that spot's still working a little bit. Because I tried a new spot that was not very good yesterday. That's what we're hoping raced, right? We're hoping deeper part, big lure. We're hoping to catch some of the more exciting fish. The truth is we'll get a lot of cusk if we catch anything, uh, but we could have a wreck fish or a poor beagle or something like that mixed in. So this can be the slowest part of the day. So if we can catch fish now, we can probably catch fish anytime. Look how fast this fish is. Or is it really this small? Okay, it's really this small, I guess. It's a little white, uh, a little whiting or something. Could be a uh, squid. Glad you're doing well on Cory. That's awesome.
Hold on. You're so cute, but how did you find the courage to approach my lure that weighs more than you do and say, this is a fish I want to eat? Actually, this kind of situation, you just assume that some other big fish was trying to eat this herring and he was fleeing in terror and was like, I'm going to look, I'm going to trick this other fish. I'm going to swim by this fish that's my size. And then the big fish will think this other fish looks more tasty than I do. And he swims by him and boom, hits that hook. And before you know it, I've caught an Atlantic herring on a 600 gram minnow. Just very hungry. Let me nibble at your toe. Twenty six centimeter. So this lure outweighs him. I mean, this is a chunky lure, right? But you're right. Lengthwise, the fish is actually one centimeter longer. Dude gets paid for each splash. That's funny. The little herring that could. Ooh, man. If bite rate keeps up like this, we're in business. Obviously, it won't. It never does with these lures, but this is nice. Did we find our first cusk or did we get lucky? Okay, we'll lock it up for a minute, no worries. What's up, mom? Am I fishing 41? No, I'm fishing 80. And I'm running out of energy. The strength of this setup, <clears throat> I'll show you once I get this fish in. I'm a little mindful of, uh, I just need to watch it, especially with me locking it some. I just want to make sure we don't get that like uh, last minute fight or something. Should be around 200 kilos, something like that. When we lock it, at least. Nice gudgeon, Hoff. I will say this. If this is a cusk, it's a pretty juicy cusk. It's not like it's like one of those four kilo cusk, you know? <clears throat> so worst case scenario, we got a pretty juicy cusk. I'm okay with that.
pretty slow though when it's got this much bulk to to it and we're having to go down in a low gear just to like pull it up slow fishing wouldn't it be great if this is like not a cusk All right, you see it? It looks very flat, doesn't it? It's definitely halibut, not cusk. Very small halibut. But these add up. Once you get over 20 kilo, you're, you're making a little silver on these suckers. Not as much as you were once upon a time. But you're making a little bit. All right, yeah, it's 205. I mean, it's we've got some wear going on, so it's not, I mean, it's a little less than that. But all right, I'll be right back. Just got a um, quick bio break. Wow, good job, Cypher. You did time that one perfectly. Thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Ooh, we're right on the edge of 80 right now. That's okay, though. Let's give her a try down here. Uh, Norway's good so far. I mean, we just got here. We actually went copper to Norway. So um, the good news is we're catching fish, even though we're using a pretty big lure. So that's always a nice thing. White fish on Ladoga. How is that? I keep hearing people talk about white fish on Ladoga. I haven't tried it yet myself, though. Yeah, copper. I mean, I, copper was fine for me. It just we've got those temps that are changing like by the minute almost, or by the hour. So, um, sort of like all over the place. But we had some fun. We did smallest F1 comp, which was like pretty fun. Uh, it's slowing down, still active. Gotcha. Yeah, I haven't tried it yet.
So this is a two or three kilo cusk, if it's a cusk, maybe four. It's hard to judge when you're using a big setup like this on the smaller sizes, but obviously this is bigger than the mackerel, but or the, uh, what's it called? The herring, but a lot smaller than the halibut. Gotcha. Interesting cipher. This is a Borealica, yeah. It's the smaller one, but yeah. All right, it is a Cusk. And this one's six kilo. Unfortunately, Cusk is likely to be our main thing that we catch. Uh, but the fun is sort of the surprises in between the Cusk. One of the few places you could do the four meter challenge from shore. Oh, interesting. Huh. Okay. Not too bad. I mean, I got to say, using this lure, often I have to wait a lot longer for bites. So this isn't too bad. We probably won't do it for too long. We'll move to 34 and then maybe 55 with some other setups. But I don't mind giving this a little bit of time to see if we can hit something, hit something special. So like a, what do you mean Cole, like a total weight comp for any kind of fish and just everybody that's on the water body join it that wants to so you can just see what people are catching? That's not a bad idea actually. Do y'all want to do that or do y'all want to have an actual comp? We could do fake comp for now and then when I get over to 34 we could do a real comp maybe? Okay, so... Uh, just catch info comp. So total weight, any fish, Norwegian sea, one day, 80 players, no silver, no password. And if you want to join, just 
just let people know like if you catch something interesting just let people know where which which hole or bank you're fishing at Got a hake, by the way. I didn't even notice that fish. I was so focused on your idea. Catch info comp. I don't know if they're that much better. I mean, there's a lot of soft bait, soft bait lures you could use that would probably be very good or that are very good. Those handmade foams are pretty consistent, but I don't know if I would say that much better. Okay. If you can come on in and ready up, let's get this started so that we can actually, make, if people want to, do an actual comp at 34 in a little while. So ready up if you haven't already, please. And we'll start it. Cool. All right, is that everybody? Is anybody else wanting to jump in? If you're fishing at Norway, you might as well, unless you just don't feel like it, but. All right, here we go. So now we can see what people are catching. And if something's catch, somebody catches something interesting, we can ask them where they're fishing if they Feel like sharing. Lots of mackerel at 55 on foams. Ooh, that's good info. Especially if you want to go for that um, cafe order. Oh, it popped off. You're kidding me.
Lots of Greenland shark on 120. Yo, <clears throat> mom, are you at the 120 below 34? Or the 120 below 215? E8. Okay. And you're saying 2301. Hmm. So maybe I'll switch this rig to that setup just to remind myself. And then maybe after 34 for a while, we can at least poke down there and try it. Because after this, I'm going to want something with a little faster bite rate. There's a cusk. There's a cod. Lots of fish coming in. All right, Johnny Tin Can, hope it goes well. Yeah, this is more what I'm used to with this lure. This kind of bite rate. <clears throat> Might just let it sit in the bottom layer for a minute. It's getting to be nighttime. Okay, there we go. Just let her sit. Hey, there's a spiny dogfish, there's an eel pout, there's some haddocks. This is kind of nice seeing all the fish people are catching. Marine Paternoster. Nice. All right, this is going to be an interesting fish, y'all. Uh, server stability. Server stability, big dog. Yeah, but it's really not a comp, Blunty. We're just wanting to spread information, just kind of seeing what everybody's catching at the various holes and, and banks. But yeah, that's how we set it up, just so we could see everything.
55 on Red Lurker for that crab. Wow, that's a nice crab. Oof. Ooh, lump fish. Yeah, I hear you, Butler. Over under one fifty. I guess over. See, we're three and a half hours in. Somebody's at 27. I don't know. That's a good question over under 150. I'd still probably say over because it just, you know, somebody just has to do pretty well and then catch one big fish and they might hit over 150, you know. I just, I think it also depends on where everybody's fishing. Not every, most people aren't fishing for like fishing in a spot like this, it's going to be slow. A lot of people are doing volume catching. I don't know. Okay. Let's bring this in. So what do we think this is? It very well could be another halibut. It's a little bit nicer halibut if it's a halibut. <clears throat> and I've been tricked by so many halibut. However, this halibut didn't feel like a halibut in the beginning. Does that mean it's not a halibut? Of course not. It probably still is a halibut. I'm just saying at first it was more active than your typical halibut, I thought. Oh, is that right, Steven? That's awesome. You're the only tourist? I love calling yourself a tourist because you're on the trip. That's really clever. It's a Bluetooth boot. Yeah, it could be a cod. If it's a cod, it's a pretty nice cod. It's going to be good silver if it's a cod. It'll be good silver to halibut too. It's definitely. Oh, yeah, nice. I like that, Blunty. Good idea. Predictions up. All right, guys. Predictions up if you want to weigh in on the winner of this Whoever, whoever catches the highest amount of weight in this comp, not that people are really competing, but still somebody will have caught the most weight by the end of it. All right, let's see what this is, guys. Halibut indeed. Even here he starts to pull if I unlock it. Just another 13 kilos off the last one. Woo, we're in first place. <laughs> one fish in and we're in first place. That's funny. <clears throat> Some of these people caught like 10 fish in the time it took me to get that one. <clears throat> just, just... A normal Levi. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Oh, for Amber? It could. I don't know, physician, but it could be just because of the size of it. I know Norway is notorious, especially when you first go in in the city. So I'm not sure though.
Oh boy. How much longer till you return, physician? Oh, nine days. Wow. Oh, troll salmon. Clip it, bear fifty five thirty two. Got that spot down in the south? It's like a seventeen, right? Yeah, y'all are saying seventeen. All right, just a little bit of time left on the prediction if you want to get your prediction in. And the prediction is over or exactly one seventy or under one seventy. And currently the top weight is 33. It looks like somebody's got to do something crazy for it to not be under at this point, right? Although it's middle of the night, I don't know. I'm still not sure. All right, let's let it sit on bottom again. Remember last time we did that, it was... Good result. Does Arch have any different Telestic species? Oh, I don't, I have no idea. No idea at all. Um, All right, one second. My wife will be home in a minute and we'll go down just for a second when she gets home. 200 meters to one kilometer is the twilight zone and fish do vertical migration out of that layer to the surface at night. Really? At copper with no PVA, just use corn, maybe size two hooks, 
and feed the water somehow. When I say corn, I mean flavored corn, cream corn, banana corn, strawberry corn, tutti corn. It's hard to say right now with all the weather changes, but something like that. Let's see. So first place is 43 kilos. If he keeps that up, he'll be at 80. He might hit 100 by the end. Maybe. Again, unless somebody catch some crazy fish. Do I make a boily ground bait pellets? You're going to have to do some testing. I I'm not sure. You could also try method if you have that unlocked. But if you don't have method, if you don't have spotting, then yeah, I would make, I would try to match the flavors as close as you can with the ground bait. And you could also mix in a little bit of either matching the flavor with some sort of like, um, you know, throwing in pellets or whatever. Maybe, I, I, I don't know. You're going to have to do some experimenting. But I think you're going to do okay, especially once copper settles a little bit. You're going to do okay just based on how good the corn works. Feeding the water is just like, you know, trying to help you get the bite rate up a little bit. All right. Let's get it off the bottom so I'm less likely to catch something. I'll be right back.
Got a little pizza, surprise pizza, huh? Looks like some good info, physician. Oh, weird. Sort of a smaller fish so far. But he's at least a little bit strong. Yeah, what's up, Rez? Fishing's been interesting. We're fishing with a giant shad. So, you know, a little slow, but then moments of excitement. A couple of halibut and a couple of cusk. <laughs> uh, mostly that's what we've caught so far. Hoping to find that random shark or something, but... We'll probably be heading over to 34 soon and get a little better bite rate. Uh, this is the Borealica 30. Yo, nice sculpin, Ricky.
All right, see if we can get one more fish. We're moving. 15 on Titan is painful. Is this Titan 8,000, the big Titan? Grass carp just painful on anything almost. Nice reel. That's what I use on my Boonisons. I really like those. They're not really meta reels, which is interesting, but I still think they're worth looking at. I don't, not me, Blunty. Budget carp reel, yeah, for sure. I have, um, I mean, the only thing I've put off is the, um, you know, the big, the big uh, carp rods, but I've never been convinced that I'm actually gonna get those TIs or whatever. So I'm probably just saving for uh, fly fishing gear now. Until something else comes along. Or bass gear or um, more saltwater gear. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Poseidon Ultra 8100. You can't wait for fly fishing? Or was there another one added on top of this one, Blunty? I don't even remember. Nice spiny. I know I said one more fish, but before moving, but I can't seem to <laughs> get this last bite. Yeah, so far I've just not understood the electric reel. Um, maybe if I tried it, I'd be convinced, but one thing I might do more for content than anything else but um it's possible i could get to a point of getting like that taiga 40 or whatever it is the budget 40 just to do some 
fishing with it. Mm-hmm, that one, Tet. I like the idea of a budget in-game reel. And I get questions about it all the time, and I just haven't ever used it, obviously, so. <coughs> Bless you. Very good reel from what you gather. Yeah, that's what I hear too. That's awesome that when you predict, it tells you by somebody's name, their prediction. I didn't know that, that's pretty cool. I don't know what's going on with this spot, but. Can't like keep it in the bottom. There we go. Oh, finally. I hope this fish stays on so we can just be done. I can only take so much. I got to get lucky pretty quick if I'm doing this kind of fishing, which I have been. I mean, we've gotten some nice fish just spending an hour doing the, you know, this type of lure. But I kind of drive myself crazy if I do it too long. All right, what was it? The 2301, I think, is what somebody was saying. I don't know what we want on... How slow is the bite rate? Yeah, Timu, to join the comp, you just have to be out here. <clears throat> so it doesn't matter what level or what how you got here, in other words. You just have to be out here. So like right now, we have a level 23. Wow. By the way, Steven, you're doing great. You're on a trip and you've caught 62 kilos of fish in this comp time. That's awesome.
Tet says perking's not good for mental health. That's true. After a while. Now I'm confused. Now I don't know what you mean, Timu. So you're not at the sea already. You're wanting to know... You may be asking a different question than I thought you were asking. So to join a sea competition, you have to be at this map. And if you're not level 34, the only way to get to this map is to either buy unlimited access or do one of your three trips. The three trips cost either silver or gold. And once you get here, you'll have rental equipment and you will be able to earn money and EXP based on what you catch on the trip. If you buy unlimited access, according to what package you get, you'll either get equipment to fish with or you won't. And once again, if you fish while at this map, you will always earn XP and or silver for what you catch. So if you've already used all your trips, the only way to get to the sea would be to buy unlimited access, which costs real money. I don't know how much it costs, but it's probably not cheap. And other than that, you got to level to level 34 so you can come here naturally. Yes, yeah, Stephen. So they, they reset the trips, I think this past Christmas holiday season, somewhere in there, maybe a little earlier than that. It was around the time they introduced the new species. And I assume that's what inspired the resetting of trips was like, well, there's new fish here, new equipment. Let's give everybody a chance to come again. But there's no guarantee they would ever do that again. Who knows, right? You got the ocean pack for 261 pounds. Uh, family friendly bot says, is this a new competition? Well, what we did was, ooh, raced is actually making it interesting with the weight prediction, by the way, raced is up to 95 kilos and, uh, bogs at 94. What we did was a total weight comp for anything, just so that we could see what each other's catching and talk about where we're fishing. It really wasn't a competition. It was just to be able to get some information about different parts of the map. You're rooting for raced. 
Braced is in a tight race with Bog. So I'm trying to just catch one. I mean, what I'm trying to do is stay away from 34 till this comp's over. That's cool. I don't have one of those yet. Did you post it in my Discord? Thank you, Cole, for showing the images of the different lures. That's great. I actually don't have a blue whiting trophy yet. Trophy blue whiting. <laughs> Back down at 80, of course. What is it with the blue whitings and 80? I remember when this map first came out, I was going for blue whitings down at 80. All right, you're using the weirdest setup I've ever seen for blue whiting. Hold on. Oh, there's the natural shrimp. Okay. I was like, what in the world? And you caught it on the 06, huh? Oh, man. Yeah, I don't have one of those yet. Do I have the uh, interest to go down and get it? Maybe. Maybe after 34, we'll see. You're on 34 race, nice. Ooh, that's a great question. Does anybody know the answer to that question? If you buy the house at Norway for silver, can you travel to the sea for free? Or does this only work with gold? And you know what I did? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was on Norway. It was on one of the house maps. I think I unlocked unlimited travel and then later in life bought the house. <laughs> So I think I paid for travel twice somewhere. When you got the Cory house, you got free access with silver. So I guess you do. Okay, nice. That's awesome. That is really cool. Having free travel to Norway with as much silver as you make here does add up. And this is one of those maps that you're constantly coming and going from. I mean, I use it to buy as a free travel spot now to be... Um, to buy um, equipment sometimes. Got your trophy blue whiting at G8. Like today or just in general?
Yeah, we can do a 34 comp. We'll do, we'll try to target stuff on 34 after this is over. Like four weeks ago. Interesting. And you said G8. Lightly under 180. Gotcha. Okay. Interesting. No stupid questions, Timu, for sure. No stupid questions. Let's see, 34, we've probably got, I mean, we could go, oh, I don't know. What are coming out? We probably should go like European Place, Haddock, Pollock or something like that. What For y'all that are at 34, oh, there's Dab. I didn't think about Dab. Also Eel Pout. So much is coming out at 34 right now. 91 kilos. Nice, Adidas. That's awesome. We're pulling these fish out of the depth. But European play seems to be pretty active. I don't know about mackerel at 34. Definitely still some safe, a lot of haddock it feels like, right? Oh, 34 angler. But I haven't fished there today. I'm actually looking at reports more from yesterday too. So I'm worried something could have changed. You're trying to save 50K silver till you get to the sea. Oh, nice. That's smart. Risk really? Somebody called an angler there? Interesting. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break after I get this fish in. You have 16 species on 34. That's amazing. You got 27k already wow and that's without norway well, i guess maybe the trips but oh it's a cusk we have been on the cusk today haven't we all right 116 i don't think you're gonna make it to 150 unless you get a really big fish all of a sudden all right i'll be right back
Whoa! What did Mosap catch at the end there? Look how close that was to 150 too. Or did the or did the um I can't remember if the a 66 kilo halibut really wow okay so it was under You didn't do that bad on Pattern Oster? <laughs> Thank you, Lion. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So we got to decide. Hold on. I got to, I'll be driving too far. You caught two. You had over a hundred kilos. Wow. That's hilarious. Wow. All right. So let's figure this out. Uh, let's do three fish. Okay, so what I was thinking was place. And it seems like a lot of nice haddock have been coming out. And then I always, die by default, think Pollock. But what do y'all think? Two, three, thirty. We could do an hour and a half. That could be fun. All right, lowercase m dog. Okay, that's fine. We'll wait five minutes. Are dogfish that active at 34? I just want to make sure people can catch them. You didn't have one? Okay, Raced was fishing 34 that whole last comp. Had like 17 different species and didn't have... And didn't have a dogfish. Let's just keep it like this. The thing I like about having the place on there... Oh, you have seven. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. What are you fishing with? What are you fishing with? Did you have any flatfish? Did you have turbot? Did you have place? Did you have dab? You did foams at night, shrimp during the day? You had one dab? Yo, I'm doing good. How are you doing, Marcel? Because I was, I was going back and forth between the place and the dabs. Um, I mean, I love catching spine the dogfish. I just feel like that could be unreliable. What about eel pout? Seven place, four dabs, and a turbot. Maybe we go dab then. 
If dabs are that common, maybe we go dab. I was just trying to put something in there that's off the bottom at night. One turbot, three dab, two place. A lot of eel pout. You like eel pout? It sounds like it's between dab and eel pout. Let's do eel pout. Yeah, eel pout's reliable for sure. If you want to use shrimp. You think dab? So here's a question. Do we want pollock or eel pout? Let's keep dab on there. Dab's unusual. I don't know if we've ever had dab in a comp. So do we want pollock or eel pout? It really changes the comp if we go eel pout, huh? Uh, I don't know if I've tried the very, very deepest. All right, I'm seeing eel pouts. We'll go eel pout. We'll go eel pout. So this guarantees that somebody will kept catch a trophy Pollock now. Just so you know. I don't know if I fish the very deepest. I don't know. I'm not, it's not that it's too dangerous. It's like it just takes so long to get down there. And then there's a lot of fish that you can't catch there. And I don't know. It's just weird. Okay. So let me think about this. I want to cast this right here, just south of 34, still on 34 actually, but it does take forever to reel in. Yeah, but there are some species that you can only get down that deep, right? There we go. <laughs> That's what I missed. That's the Norway I know and love. You give it one perk and then you got a fish on. <laughs> oh man. Oh, what's up? What's up my friend? Greetings to you. Eat it, it's edible. All right. Anybody else wanting to join? How are we doing on time for uh, you, Bashan? Best lure for this is probably going to be either a lurker or a handmade foam. Passwords MDOG, all lowercase. And, sh and shrimp may be sneaky because we have both of those. Uh... What the heck? Oh, yeah. By the way, there's cod here. I'm not saying this is a cod, but I need to remember that. We're going to be running into cod. Ooh, over under of trophies caught. People will catch. I would say two. M dog is past no past no uh, caps. How many people do we have in here? Oh, it is a cod. I had a feeling. So there's some going to be some annoying cod here. On the provoker. Ooh. Well, let's don't do that. I'm not sure that I can avoid them, but just in case, I will do this. All right. Is there anyone else that is still waiting to get in? Holy cow. 
Got a ton of people. You're going to win almost 300 silver just from winning this comp. Much less the 1,500 silver you'll get from your net. You catch poor beagles? What's up, Pro Drifter? All right, so am I waiting on anyone else to start this comp? Are we ready? Just chilling here on Norway, about to start a comp. What did that crab come in on? Okay. All right, I think we're ready. Uh, let's start this thing at... Let's start this thing at 3.30 a.m. So an in-game hour and a half. How many people are in it? That's a good question. Let me check. So in-game hour and a half. Oh, are you going to do the comp with us, Pro Drifter? Ooh, I love it. Love it. Okay, currently we have 26 people. Um, all right, so I caught that on the foam rubber fish 04. Certainly at nighttime, I'm using a jigging rig with all handmade for now. During the daytime, I'm going to use the uh, lurker. I don't know which one yet. Maybe the red one, I'm not sure. And then tiny fish on bottom. And I'll probably switch this one to shrimp some too, because I guess to catch eel pout, shrimp's not a bad idea. Five trophies? Hmm. I would say more like two or three. What trophies do we think people are going to catch here at 34? It's not like the mackerel are popping off, right? I would say over plus over under two is what I would say, but I could be wrong. You think we'll see an eel pout trophy? That would be amazing. All right, less than an in-game hour until we start this. Very soon, very soon. All right, it's almost start time. Hey, Pro Drifter, just send me a message to MDog and just say foam. I'll send you some foams. I don't mind. You're around all the time. I have no problem doing that. Predictions up, everybody. Only thing that's weird is it doesn't let me predict. I guess it's because it's presumably I'm the one that starts it. Uh, anyway, all right. We've got 10 in-game minutes. Let's see. Did you yellow? Really, yellow is like the most consistent. But 
Other colors can be good too. Obviously. I don't know what other colors I have excess of. Definitely can send you a green. Oh, we got to start. Good luck. Have fun. Go forth. Do great things. He said, oh, I'm getting spoiled. Thanks. <laughs> All right, I need to make some more anyway. I'll send you a blue too. I gotta make some more foams. These things wear out pretty quick as well. It's like worth leveling up your um, lure making to at least make foams. It's not expensive at all just to get to foams. I mean, unless you're like a brand new player, but. Wait, where am I? Ooh, we're even farther south. What color, what color lurker y'all think is the best today? Anybody have just a, uh, uh, an opinion on this that's been fishing today? Today was the first day of school and homework. Oh, really? Red? Okay. Thank you, Cole. Ooh. Lurker. No problem. <laughs> yes, I agree, Ted. Uh, you should be able to just sub that in and out. Well, hold on. Was that on a was that on a phone? Because. That's awesome. Dog foam works. Just want to get a little bit back further north from where we are right now. I don't know how long it's going to the first trophy on the sea since you unlocked it. Oh, that's amazing. That's really color. I mean, that's really cool. You know what? My brain was just saying, I wonder what color foam you caught that on. And it came out. That's really color. <laughs> um, not going to be on there yet. It's really color for sure. <laughs> so true. It was on yellow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Write that down, write that down. Cold play yellow. Wow, Frozen, why don't you go ahead and catch all three species? <laughs> I'm going to let this sit in the bottom for a minute. Oh no, are you not premium? You could sell some to the uh, submarine. See, we're down here south of 34. We'll need to move up to main 34 if we actually want to engage with this comp at some point. But I've been wanting to test this section underneath, this like southern 34 section. See what we catch. Two cod on foam two south of 34. I think our bite rate would also in increase if we go move up north a little bit. But again, I'm just sort of curious about this area. Oh, that's a Vivi. Okay, 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 okay. There's a Vivi down here. So what's amazing is how quickly some people have gotten dabs. There's a nice dab, by the way. Don't be a cod. Also, don't break my line, please. Oh, this is looking very cod or sharky. I guess it could be a big safe. I don't know. Who knows? Once we got it off the bottom, it's not so strong. At first, it was like, holy camoles. Could be a cusk, too. That's a good point. Fish on the line knows. Truer words. There's a cod. There's a lot of cod out here today, aren't there? Everybody's just having to like sort through the cod. Fisherman JT with a nice dab. You just caught a really big place <laughs> after that back and forth on what was involved in the comp. Oh, yes. Just keep getting bigger, lump fish. I love it. Oh, you're so tired. I got you. What is trophy lumpy? I have no idea. Nice haddocks, chronics. Eight 
eight kilo or something. All right, one shot. Thanks for hanging out. See you next time. As fun as I've had on copper lately, there is something about Norway. It is just, it's also a blast. How fortunate these past two maps to be like such home runs. It's crazy. I feel like you should be an author, Cole. That's like um, the beginning of a really good children's book. <laughs> what, is, what is this, Cole? Is this something from a children's book? I liked it when it was motionless better, honestly. <laughs> uh, jumps in the sea. Is it a children's song or is this a real, is this like a song? That I just haven't heard it. I was going to say somebody uh, Google search these, these lyrics cause we're coming too fast and furious with them. Hey, there's a European place that we almost put in the comp. She's lump fish. She's lump fish. She's in my head. Huh. I, I remember that group.
Yeah, I totally remember that song. If you haven't already, Google the song, play it. If you're if you were around, you probably have heard that song before. <laughs> <clears throat> I did not remember the lyrics at all, but I immediately recognized it when I started hearing it play it. All right, at least I got a decent, decent haddock, four kilo haddock. Brings back memories, yeah. I mean, sorta. I, I certainly remember the song. I don't have any memories attached to it, but. Oh, yeah. Yes. Another place? You got a four kilo pollock. Hmm. I, I really thought you were going to tell us something that was your favorite thing. Now I see that that is not what's happening. Yo, Olympus, good luck. The old switcheroo. Place after place. I know. <laughs> There's so many place here. Ooh, I love it. 
More of those, please. Plenty six place. The foam rubber fish and then lurker caught mine places. My, my second favorite thing is sarcasm, Cole says. Kelly says, can confirm. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Hey, we're still finding the VVs, even though it's 12 noon. Like, everybody's making their sandwiches and we're still catching night fish. Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't risk it. Not with something like a sturgeon. It's worth too much silver. It'll get tired. Yeah, there cloudy days. I don't really change based on weather too much here at, uh, at Norway. I figure whatever's going on 30 meters under the, under the surface of the water. I don't know. Some say blue. Oh, are you worried about getting um, Olympus? Are you worried about getting uh, An emo band from the 2000s. Some say blue. <laughs> Are you worried about getting spooled, Olympus? You don't have to chat right now. You focus on your sturgeon. Or whatever it is. Yeah, I think that's right, Adidas. The only problem is if I switch this lure, the whole thing switches. I've got to change stuff out. So I'm not really worried about it. I will switch to this setup every once in a while, not that setup. How about this setup? So once it's exhausted, you may have to lock it then you're saying, but as long as it's not still fighting, you may be okay. Yeah, turbots are nice. Turbots are nice. They might be giants.
Friction breaks like on 14. Uh, I, I recognize the band name at least. I don't know that song, but I knew y'all were... <clears throat> I, knew what, I knew what was up just from the band name. Getting a little cotty out here. Blood, interesting. You're 33. Tossed and turned all night. Wait, those are lyrics? I thought that was just the story of your life. Oh, you're talking about I tossed and turned all night. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> uh, those are the story of my life. Where are you fishing at, Olympus? You're trying out bait fish at Tuba. Okay. Mm, quite a few things that can go wrong with that, but... On an HSV. <laughs> I realize this now. <laughs> you live and learn. It's a nice haddock, by the way. 
The only place that has more false positives than copper is Norway. Probably should have made that point earlier when we were talking about copper. I think it's kind of amazing how many cod we're catching here. I don't think I've ever seen 34 this cod heavy. A little better eel pal. No fillet. You're on three foam and a red lurker and you have two cod. Are you on a different part of the of the 34? I'm, I've been on the south part the whole time. Maybe if I went up north, it's less cod. Or in the middle even. It There's no guarantee, but it will get to a point where it's so tired that it really won't fight anymore. Yeah, I guess I'll try somewhere else uh, just because it's, it is so cotty here. Yes, Tet, I've noticed that. And not only is the splash animation shown, sometimes it's like, it looks like it's way off in the distance, right? I don't know it's just it looks so weird it's disconnected from the water or something i don't know no you're not crazy a lot of haddock on black foam flying collar rig for dab and haddock oh that's a good idea i i really i mean i know we're in this comp and that's great and i hope i do well but I'm more interested in trying out these sets I've put together than I am specifically tap targeting a certain fish. If those fish species want to come to my sets, that's great. <laughs> if they don't, I'm okay catching whatever it is we catch. One hour at copper, no PVA, cream corn, couple of F1s, and mostly Gibble and Crucian. What spot? Pier 1? Adjust your in-game field of view. Wait, I should already be all the way back, right? Yeah. Are you saying you have to go less than 75 to see it right? Yeah, that's Pier 1.
is copper still elevated temps or is it back down? Ooh, increased. I hope by tomorrow's stream it's down again, but who knows? Light rate's not bad. Okay, that's good. At least you had some success. I'm glad it's a good start, eat with the less than ideal temperature. Good sign. Temps have been normal until now. Okay, interesting, okay. Now we're not catching cod. It's interesting how like the 34 bank, it's not like the whole thing is the exact same. Nice dab. Yeah, Ricky, that's a nice one. Wow. for comfort the pink quicker wow probably the 4.5 right for a dab, not the big one. <laughs> Quicker picker upper. Seven. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll switch it. Catch his trophy dab on smaller, quicker. Wait, did that come in on the quicker? It did. I knew it. Quickers, I mean, flatfish love these quickers. So much quicker than you realize. Ugh. The real worm does do good. I, that's true, you guys. That's true. Red, orange. Nothing to see here.
Uh, flying collar. What do you, do you have any suggestions on flying collar, Devian? What lure? I got a bad feeling about this. Challenge. Challenge accepted. Yo, centric, two centric. Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Welcome. All right, Blunty, do we count the trophy sculpin that Lion just caught? Real Worm 7002. Are you picking on Mubot? Isn't this one of the things that I have to use a um, bottom boat rod for or something? How much can I put on here? 78. All right, we're good. Flying collar. Uh, we'll use the Taiga C. What we got? What we got here? Ideally, we want 60. Yeah, we'll take 60. 60. 60. Uh, what size hook you like? I don't know. Maybe 30? I mean, maybe... Uh, I'm not even talking at this point. 7002. All right, Pro Drifter. Thanks for hanging out. I'm glad you dropped by, Two Centric. What did we say? Real Worm 7002? Uh, uh, was it somebody else that was saying to Somebody was saying using fly, use the flying collar rig. Don't worry, chat. We won't do this long. I just thought I would do it one time real quick to see how it does. Oh, this is what you're using on your jigging. Okay. Yo, big dog, what are you fighting? Big Pollock? You hit a huge Pollock or what? Oh no, we're drifting off the 34. How cool would it be if we just one shot a trophy American place on our freaking whatever this is called right here, right now, flying collar rig. Your regal overheated. Got 
That sounds scary, big dog. Gotta be patient for a second. If we don't catch something, I'll switch again. All right, Blunty. Not necessarily you ghost. We don't, uh, you ghost. We don't understand. I mean, I don't think we fully know the effects of temperature changes at copper yet. Uh, last time there was a temperature change, I kept fishing there and, and had a really good session. But then other times I fished there during temp change, it has slowed down dramatically. So I don't know. I don't know. Might depend on the spot and bait and what type of rigs you're using. Yeah, I agree, you guys. Okay. Uh, all right, we're going to use this one. So we have the Siberia real worm as a part of our jigging rig now. See how this goes. Lion collar rig strikes again. To be fair, I wasn't really in a good spot. We were like drifting off the edge of the bank the whole time. At least catfish are worth a little bit of silver when they get to that that weight. Oh, but I'm sure that was a little scary. 
And that's probably why you didn't feel like you were in danger of being um, spooled because of how sort of slowly they march away from you. That's awesome, Olympus. Grats. That's great. Catching big catfish is fun. As long as you can, as long as it's not too big. Yo, Psycho, thanks for the follow. I'm going to make him an offer again with you. 98.9 Iska. Nice. Grats. I hope you can relax after that. <laughs> See what that came in on. The 003. Okay. All right, who's in first place? Devian, Fisherman's up there still. Ricky, Pro Drifter, Lucas, Frozen, Chronic, Captain Malone, Iska, and Sui. Spain versus France, huh? Wow. Just starting? Yep. Nice. Anybody watching the, uh, what do they call this? Not the Copa, but the Euro? Euro. Euros? Or it's the what semis? Okay. Do you know who's in the other bracket? <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, but they don't play each other, right? It's just a Euro champion and a Copa champion. Ooh, nice. That's four fun teams in the final four. That's awesome. Oh, go Canada. Are they? They're not always that good, are they? Canada? They're awfully good right now. I heard somebody talking about them. That's great. Who are you pulling for here? Me too. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how that works, Aaron. Uh, the, they released something with the zip rig that at least I think partially spoke to it. Uh, Psycho, I think, is it 5531? Is that where people have been fishing at Bear? I'm not sure, though. That's the second edible we've had, by the way. We'll see what that came in on. 003. So right now, the 003, which is the... Um, the green one and the one on our main setup is catching a lot of our fish. That's scary. Could have, should have, would have been a goal.
<laughs> you found the enemy base? That's funny. Um, so I think people have been using 17 meter clip though. So psycho, I'm not sure if that's necessarily specifically for barbel and tench. It might just be that people are fishing for carp there, but I've just heard people talk about that spot today. That's definitely sometimes it's a very active spot at bear. In Toronto, the leaves fall in the spring. I get it. I get it. Oh, lion, you did find the enemy base. And that's two visible trophies. I assume we're not counting the gulpin. Alec, love to see it. Oh, I don't know that he meant to do that because he immediately like was over him, but like it looked like apologizing, but that looked bad. Uh-oh. How did that happen? I looked down for just a Me second. Too. That's what's crazy. Those really good European teams that can play so defensive, and then in just a second, they transition to a goal. Uh-oh. What do the Maple Leafs and the Blue Jays have in common? <laughs> wow. Neither can play hockey. One of them's a baseball team. Is that the joke? Wait, the Blue Jays are a hockey team? I thought it was the Toronto Blue Jays. Isn't that a baseball team?
Oh, Blue Jackets. Colorado Blue Jackets. Gotcha. Okay. I read it as Blue Jays. My fault. My fault. Oh, no, no, no. He did say, what do the Maple Leafs and Blue Jays have in common? Toronto Blue Jays. Toronto Maple Leafs. So the joke is that the Blue Jays are a baseball team. Neither team can play hockey, including the hockey one. Yeah, the Toronto Blue Jays. Okay. Devian, Lion, Fisherman, Ricky, Sweepa, Lucas, Frozen, Chronix, Captain Malone. That's the wrong one. I don't mind. Keeps it keeps it moving. I like it. Keeps it moving. Viva la France. They're so excited. Ooh. They're gonna card him for that. I don't know if it's justified. I don't I don't know. But he's getting carded. Keeps you on your toes for sure. Ah, uh, he hit the back leg pretty hard. Yay at long last dab. Nice, Butler. I don't think I've had a dab. Caught everything else in the sea. Whoa, KC! Nice haddock. All right, that's three. That's three, Blunty, plus a, plus a sculpin. Feel a little eel pout. Yeah, also. They still haven't started play up again since that yellow card. It's amazing how long these breaks take. <clears throat> It's 
too bad the championships weren't, wouldn't be while we're at the beach. That would have been fun, something fun to watch uh, right. with your brothers and their kids. Jonas would have enjoyed it. Got some strange lures on at the moment. <laughs> That's good, raced. right back.
Oh, that was disgusting. No. The defense just can't let him get that much space. I didn't mean to do that. Dude. Was, uh, this was not well thought out. Yeah, I, I should act like I've been here before. No big deal. No way. That one just ricocheted. What is that mackerel? 210 gram? Small one. Too small to turn into bait, right? That's the problem with mackerel. Gotta be 300 gram.
Three nine marker haddocks in a row. Nice, Psycho. All right, just under four hours left. I guess we're one trophy away from going over, right? You had a trophy sorry and there was a trophy sculpin so that's like i don't know how do we calculate it i don't know i guess it's only trophies that are in the comp the radar shows rain. Nice. Nice little spiny. Wait, three of us all have 74 fish in the net at the same time? Czar. Streamer net. Uh.
admin comp net. That was my first dab, this whole thing. Wow. I wonder what it came in on. The lurker. The lurker caught the dab. All right, Adidas. Who are you pulling for in the match? Nice dad. Nice dab, sweeper. That's my second dab. Weren't there three trophies? Let's see. Attic, and is it two eel pouts? Eel pout. Maybe it doesn't go back that far. Two in one haddock, okay.
Assuming nothing's gonna happen here at the buzzer. Ricky moved into second though. Devian, Ricky, Lion, KC, Rasto, and on and on. Been a good comp. A lot of nice fish caught. Glad to hear it, Psycho. Haddock's picked up now. The comp's almost over. Sometimes that is the way of things. Hey! <laughs> Back roll coming from. Grats to Devian. 9.7 Haddock, Trophy Eel Pout, and 2.4 Dab, right? Wait, that's not Trophy Eel Pout. 313 Eel Pout, 2.4 Dab. Is that the biggest Dab in the comp? No, 2.5. That's interesting. Devian just kind of had all around. Devian's been in the top spot for a long time, too. All right. Hope you sleep well. Yeah, I'm about to go sell fish, but let's get one more. Yes, absolutely. That was fun. I'm thank y'all for so many of y'all for participating. That was a blast. It's always just good to see what people are catching and sometimes comps the only way to go. All right. 158 gram. Actually, let's go to Volkov and pick up our, and then we'll come back to Norway and sell, but our rods should be finished uh, repairing rods and reels. Well, rods i don't know how long the reels were going to take i don't remember actually the rods were like four hours i think really oh yeah we got them all back we got them all back okay good You were always in the lower right corner of 34. Yeah, I was getting cotted to death. Although, I wasn't the lower right corner. I was like all the way south of 34. Or south part, I guess. Edible crab. Okay, none of mine were 500 grams. And I don't think I hit any of this. These are just some interesting cafe orders. I did get the Pollock for 50. Some people, if they had really good haddock luck might have gotten that wow those were some fascinating fascinating um nice pollock casey some fascinating orders there oh we still did 1200 silver okay yeah oh i forgot i forgot we had the uh yeah i forgot we had the big halibut in the beginning but look at that dogfish man All right, we'll take it. Okay, folks, I got to head out. Son's playing a little baseball tonight, but I will uh, plan on seeing y'all tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. Y'all are the best. You have seven herring and net. That's amazing. All on shrimp. Yeah, I'll have to try shrimp tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> Sounds like shrimp are really doing good. All right, tight lines, everybody.